page 150 and the beginning of chapter 14, which is called The Evil Beyond the Mountain. Here we go. Who did this? Gritted Captain Morley Clifford. Gritted, not, not a correct speaking verb. Judith is starting the final chapter as they mean to go on. Who could have done it? Could is italicised. The castaways were standing in a silent half circle, staring glumly from the wreckage of their radio mast to the shattered remains of the raft and pieces of blackened debris floating on the surface of the lagoon. Wrecked, 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 wrecked. Tragic. They were mentally stunned by the dawning realisation that now their hopes of leaving Castaway Island were more remote than ever before. With both the raft and the radio mast destroyed, how could they ever hope to see civilization and loved ones at home again? To make matters worse, most of the airliner's canned food, all its signal rockets and flares, I told you not to put all the flares on there. Told you. And its rubber dinghies had been destroyed in the mysterious, in the mis no, with the mysterious disintegration of the raft. How? And by whom had this cruel blow been struck? And why? This isn't one of the characters speaking, it's, it's the narrative voice asking those questions. It certainly wasn't lightning, Skipper, gruffed Tony, again gruffed, gritted. All this has been carefully pre-planned. -pre the mast and the raft were blown up by explosives and that limits our search for the culprits down to Saad Sali and his gang of hoodlums. On the contrary, Tony, retorted Captain Clifford, it. Yeah, I think Captain Clifford's going to point out that Saad doesn't have any explosives. Well, do they? Because they've never really looked in that box of rifles, did they? I don't know. Exciting, I don't know.